What's up, guys? It's your boy, John City Gamer here with a vlog. It'll probably get emotional because this is my blog that I've been, well, vlog I've been planning for, well, it's one I didn't really want to do, but it, it's one I felt I kind of had to do as a fan. Because on Sunday, the Phillies and other fans lost probably one of their best players in their history, one of their captains, number 10, Darren Dutch Dalton. Dutch passed away after a four-year battle with an aggressive form of brain cancer. And, I mean, I just found out last night about the whole thing. I had no idea that he passed. So, finding about Dutch, finding out about Dutch that he passed the way he did, it was a real gut punch for me. Because, I mean, I was only two years old when the dream season of 1993 happened. I was born in 1991, of course. But I've seen the Whatever It Takes Dude video. The, uh, the story the storybook video, or the video yearbook, I should say, of the 1993 season. God knows how many times. I pretty much have that thing memorized, and it was through that, as an eight-year-old kid, long after Dutch had retired, that I bonded with Dutch on a personal level. And I never actually got to see him play because he played, um, he was winding up his career when I was just a kid, when I was like four or five, six years old. So I never actually got to see Dutch play. But I've watched that video so many times that you just kind of get an innate bond with Dutch. And I could see why he was so loved by the Phillies organization and all the people of Philadelphia. And plus, you know, Harry Callis him passing away in 2009, that also crushed me, but, you know, this is about Dutch. So, I mean, the fact that, <clears throat> I mean, this guy, he had 10 knee surgeries over his career, 10 of them. So, everything he went through, everything he fought for, I'm, I'm sorry. God damn it. Anyway, everything he went through, Dutch... He faced it with the heart of a warrior, and I know Crookie and Nails, Lenny Dykstra, they're all there for him. They're all there for his family, and it's just, it's really sad that Dutch went out this way, that he's just 55, and he passed this way. I mean, four years battling brain cancer. Four years. I mean... The only solace is that um, by now he's hit the pearly gates of heaven and Harry Callis and Whitey Richie Ashburn will be there to give the <clears throat> to make the dramatic announcement of, you know, look who's coming to the pearly gates of heaven. It's the captain, number 10, Darren Dodge Dalton. That's probably the only solace I can really take out of this whole thing. And it's that Dutch is no longer in any pain. And all the Phillies from years past will be there for him. But god damn it. I might be a selfish son of a bitch. But I'd give anything to have Dutch Dalton back. Believe me. I would give anything to have him back. I mean, I know it's not possible to bring the dead back to life. But believe me. If it were possible, and I could get rid of Dutch's cancer and everything, so he'd be a healthy man again. I would do anything to get Dutch back. I had... You know, I had that much respect for him as a player, and, you know, I, I love seeing him as a fan. You know, through all the archive footage I've seen through him as a fan, it's just I got that strong bond with such Dalton, and it's just really tragic the way he passed. I just wish that there was, I wish that there was some way we, we could have helped him, but as you all know, no cure for cancer and everything. And again, like I said, the Phillies community, they lost a... A very beloved member of the family. I mean, he was inducted to the Phillies Wall of Fame in 2010. And he spent 14 years of his career over there. So, it's obvious Dutch loved the Phillies just as much as we love him. The so Dutch, Godspeed to you. And rest in peace, my friend. Hopefully someday, I'll get to meet you at the pearly gate to heaven. But for now, all we've got left of, our, of you is our memories of you, Dutch. Thanks for nearly bringing the Phillies a world championship in 1993, and I'll never forget you, brother. I just wish I had a chance to meet you before 
before your time came. But anyway, guys, that is my vlog on the passing of Darren Dutch Dalton. Uh, it was hard to film, believe me. I mean, can, you guys can hear how it is for me to film this, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you liked the video, put a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Termination today. Also, just one minor note, I'm not able to bring regular videos to you because the damn ear problem I thought I had solved, it kind of had a, <clears throat> I guess, like a relapse. And now it feels like there's a chunk of water in my ear, so I can't get rid of that. So for now, the videos other than vlogs are kind of on hiatus. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this tribute to Dutch, and I'll see you soon, hopefully. Love all of you.